welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video now if you're new consider hitting that subscribe button and of course don't forget to give this video a like if you are enjoying this series actually the series has now come to a conclusion so happy halloween everybody and welcome to night number 13 out of my 13 nights of fright if you're new you can check out catch up on this series in this playlist right over here you can check out last year's once again these are all first time watches for me so tonight we're talking about 2016's train to busan this is a south korean film and this is a, a zombie movie of course if you know me you already know this but if you are new zombie movies are like my favorite like horror type of movies i love me a good zombie movie well there is a sequel to this as well called peninsula which i haven't seen either but i really want to see it but i don't know maybe i'll wait till next year maybe not maybe that'll just be like a random first time watch a movie now, i really enjoy how this movie sets everything up the way that it starts off with that deer being run over i mean it's like dead and then it just kind of starts like morphine crypting like cracking bones whatever like it comes back to life right it's like a zombie deer it's driving to the train station you know you hear all the ambulance the fire department you see a, a building like catching fires like well what's going on now we are playing this little girl and her father um i i already know i'm terrible with names and i'm totally gonna botch this so we're gonna call the father the father and i believe the little girl's name you pronounce it soon soon oh no no that's not gonna work the little girl all right now if y'all know me you already know how i feel about these children and these movies and i don't like i have like a positive and a negative one she is annoying little girl but when it comes to like the actress, she's a damn really good actress because of the way it ends and the emotions. Like I really wonder how they got her to get that emotional and stuff. They're at the like she's a really good damn good um actress for being such a little girl. All she wants for her birthday is to go visit her mother in um, Busan. The dad is his hedge fund. He's just a workaholic. He really doesn't care about anybody but himself. You know he does love his daughter. But, you know, he just is all about work. Dear viewer, if you have never seen this movie and you're wondering what kind of zombies we're dealing with here, well, we are dealing with some damn fast-ass zombies here, you guys. These are not the very, like, slow, dragging, like, where you can actually, like, maybe power walk your way to freedom. No, you, you need to be fast, like, whoosh. And they're like hoarding zombies, almost kind of like the 28 days, 28 weeks later. They're fast moving like they will jump on you okay and when you get bit by these zombies you actually do pretty much immediately turn into a zombie as well so some of you are probably like can this movie really be any good if we're just on a train no you guys it, it's really good like this is a great freaking zombie movie you guys like it's not just like an action-packed zombie movie there's actually a story, there's actual character development, there's character arcs that go within it. If you are a fan of zombies, like this is a must watch for you if you haven't watched it yet. You have the subtitles, but of course you could always dub it. I saw it in the original language and just had the subtitles, which was fine. I kind of almost want to watch it in dub just so I can kind of see more what's going on on the screen. That way I'm not like missing stuff because I'm reading it. We have the dad who is basically... Somebody who's just looking out for himself or his kid doesn't really care what's happening to the other passengers, which I can totally relate because I would honestly be me. I'm not even going to lie about that. I'm going to be like, no, well, I got to survive. My people got to survive. I don't know you, stranger. When it comes down to stuff, you don't know. I mean, I know, but yeah, I probably don't know. You'd probably be the most ruthless person out there. And then we have, um, I don't know, what should I call him? We have the awesome guy, okay, because he's my favorite character with his pregnant wife. They're what the little girl wishes her family would basically be because when she kind of comes upon them, she's like drawn to them. And it's just the caring, loving father who she wishes her father would be. And obviously he's not. And just somebody also who the dad should want to be like you should want to help people and then we have on the asshole okay who also kind of has a representation as, as well of the main character of the father this is kind of who he could possibly turn out to be if he doesn't change his way he's the one that causes a lot of people to die you guys because he just doesn't care he's ruthless some strange girl 
you know, ends up coming aboard before the doors close and all hell breaks loose after that because like, you know, she ends up like turning and like gets everybody like again. Yeah, you turn like this. So it's like everybody's trying to get out because you're like in a confined space when you have that claustrophobic uh, tone. So you actually really truly end up caring about these characters and there's even an emotional, they're like two emotional scenes that I did not see coming. I really don't get too emotional when it comes to zombie movies because I'm just like intensity and like oh my god death and like people pulling apart and you're just like ah but then like this one kind of like slows it down and adds that little bit of heart to it and then you're just like ah and then you're like oh my god like where my tissue that because it gets very very emotional there towards um the, the latter part of of the movie and you guys it's a little bit under two hours so it's not even like a long movie but it goes by so quickly the zombies are really cool shout out to like the stunt crew with their like contortion itself and no we're not just on the train the whole time i mean the majority of the part we are in the train but because we really don't know the circumstances and everything that's really really going on it's like can we really be this safe on the train when there's literally zombies that could you know come over here like we have to figure out how to get off the train and you know find safety find the government find the military kind of situations so we do of course have those stops at certain trains but like shit ain't better there you guys because like i said fast working virus this has depth it has emotion it has intensity we're claustrophobic we have great acting um and then also because it is you know technically a horror movie it's a zombie movie you have to have your mix you have to have that little girl little annoying girl a pregnant lady because you know we always have to have somebody pregnant either pregnant or with like a young baby right uh, we have to have the asshole which is that old man I will tell you guys this. He does die. Thank you, Jesus. He, he takes him too long to die, though. He makes it pretty much to the end. But, like, he dies, okay? That, we got everything. Like, everything you would want. Like, all the cliches of a horror movie or people, characters. They're kind of in here. But they're not just, like, thrown in there just to be thrown in there, you know? It's like there's a purpose for everything. Um, the writing, the directing, the look, the feel, the style, the music everything was so so good you guys like i swear like this is one of the one if not the best zombie movie if you haven't already give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new so obviously you guys i am giving a train to busan a, a large popcorn it's a great freaking movie comment down below what is your favorite zombie movie if you've seen train to busan what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you is the peninsula movie just as great as this one thank you so much for sticking around with me these 13 a night i don't normally do a consecutive upload because it's a little bit too much for me it's a lot stressful you guys all right that's it for me tonight thank you so much happy halloween stay safe bye